Hey health enthusiasts, Kavita here with Match Health, helping you to feel your best and to live your healthiest life. In today's video, I'm super excited to share with you my favorite rice bowl dish recipe that includes eight power packed ingredients, all of which help to reduce period pain naturally. I've grown up in an Indian family and all of the cooking that I've learned is based off of Ayurvedic principles that have been used for centuries, all of which help to promote healing and better health. And that's why I'm excited to share this recipe with you because I really help walk you through how you can incorporate all of these awesome, amazing, natural healing foods into just one dish to remove the hassle and burden of trying to figure out exactly what you should include in your diet, especially the week of your period when you're tired and exhausted. This recipe is easy, simple, and delicious. Also, stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna share exactly how you can get your hands on this recipe for free. Listen, if you're interested in a holistic approach to healing and health, and you wanna learn about cutting edge, smart technology, tips and tricks, then subscribe to this channel right now, and be sure to press the bell so that you'll be notified of my next video. Let's get right into it. First up is preparing a salmon filet to bake in the oven. The first step is to sprinkle some ginger powder, turmeric powder, red chili powder, and some salt onto the fish. I will get into the science of what makes these spices fabulous in a minute. Now I drizzle some extra virgin olive oil over the salmon and rub in all of these colorful spices over the filet so it's fully covered. Pop the salmon into the oven and let it bake for a few minutes while we move to the next step. Now for the main dish. First we are going to add EVOO to a pan. Once the oil heats up, you are gonna add in cumin and mustard seeds. Even though these are super small spices, they provide a subtle but important flavor and health benefit. Both cumin and mustard seeds are antispasmodic, which means they help to reduce muscle spasms, thus relieving muscle cramps. Now I quickly add in a handful of small yellow lentils called mung dal. Lentils are an excellent source of iron. Blood loss translates into iron loss, so it's important to replenish our bodies with iron-rich foods. Low iron levels can make you start to feel weakness, exhaustion, and even feel foggy. Plus, I love adding in lentils to give this dish a little crunch. After these brown a little, I add in two rock star ingredients. First, you will add grated ginger. Studies have shown that increased ginger consumption the first three to four days of your menstrual cycle can greatly reduce pain and cramping. How awesome is that? Then you will add in turmeric. Turmeric is almost like the star of the show. Unfortunately, I do not have fresh turmeric on hand, but using a powder is a great alternative. This vibrant and powerful spice has an almost endless list of health benefits. But as it relates to period pain, turmeric has both anti-inflammatory and antispasmodic properties helping to alleviate the pain from cramping and inflammation. Now I add in this beautiful fresh kale to the pan. I like to add in a little water to ensure the kale leaves cook evenly and do not burn. Any leafy vegetable like spinach or Swiss chard is a great source of magnesium. Magnesium is one of those minerals that many of us just don't get enough of, but is super important when we are on our period. Get this, magnesium helps to relax uterine muscles, reduce the severity and duration of menstrual cramps. Once the kale has simmered for a few minutes and is soft, I add in cooked brown rice. Brown rice is a rich source of fiber that can help keep hunger spikes in check. Brown rice is also thought to absorb and eliminate prostaglandins. Prosta what? Prostaglandins are evil substances responsible for many menstrual symptoms. Before I mix in the rice, add in cayenne or red chili pepper for a little kick. And don't forget the salt. This brings all of the flavors together. Remember the salmon? Once the salmon has finished baking, I use my fork to shred it up into pieces and add it into the pan. Salmon is a great source of omega-3. Omega-3 fatty acids help to reduce the production of the prostaglandins, which are those substances that cause the menstrual pain. If you are a vegetarian, good alternatives to the salmon are walnuts, Brussels sprouts, or navy beans, all of which are rich in omega-3. Girls, now you have this super simple, delicious, Indian rice bowl recipe that you can try at home the week of your period or even beyond that. To get this recipe, all you have to do is look in the description section below and you'll be able to download this recipe for free. Food is just one natural way to find period pain relief, but there are other options. Watch my video where I talk about my 10 favorite secrets to natural healing with period pain, where you can find out all the different options that might be right for you. Girls, in the comment section below, let me know what type of foods you would add in this rice bowl dish. I would love to get some other ideas. I'm always trying to find new ways to kind of doctor up my rice bowl dishes because I love one dish meals, especially rice bowls. They're hearty, 
They're something that I can eat multiple times during the week and they really just never get old for me. Girls, if you found this video to be useful, share it with a friend, like it so I know that I should make other videos like this, and don't forget to subscribe. I can't wait to see you in my next video.